So we were on a, on a uh, full day uh, river rafting trip on the Colorado River in uh, Moab, Utah. Ken, myself, and my two daughters were on the shore and we were just walking, picking up rocks and throwing them into the water. And my kids love to collect rocks. And it was at that point that the guide said, we got trouble up river. And Rob and I started heading up river to a point where we thought we could, if somebody was in the water and needed some help, we could get out to him. And then I saw the first person coming down the river. And it was a, a male, uh, probably you know 30 years old, and he was bobbing in the water and he was yelling at us. And he was saying, my wife's in the water. My son's in the water. So Rob and I both went, okay, this is, this is the real deal. We got something, something really bad's gonna happen here. The next thing I saw was Ken jump in the water after him. And he didn't have a life vest on. It's funny the things that come into your mind. You know, like when I, when I jumped in to get her, it didn't even register that it was gonna be a potentially dangerous, life-threatening situation. I knew that if I didn't do something, she would have drowned. And then once I got on the water, I thought, okay, uh, you're kind of in a bad spot here. He, you know, truly knew it was a life and death situation. And, and he made that split second decision without a vest to jump in and, and try to change the outcome of what potentially was gonna be uh, you know, a very, very, very awful situation. It all worked out. I'm, I'm, I'm glad it did. Um, I'm glad I was there at that moment. You know, there was definitely a reason why we stopped on that beach that day and, and uh, turned out the way it did. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you. you just saved my grandson's life. It was just something I thought was the right thing to do and I knew that if I didn't do something, the outcome would have been horrible. And it may have been fine, she may have floated down and been okay, but if she wasn't, I wouldn't have been able to live with myself. No way. Just There was just no way that I could have sat there and watched her go by. The mom was six months pregnant at the time that she was in the water and that Ken saved her. And she just had the baby I believe three days ago, and um, they actually, her middle name is named uh, after Ken. So um, that kind of says it all right there. Kind of a neat feeling to, to know that, that we made an impact on that family and uh, the future and that little kid. So I think that kid's gonna be a pretty special little baby. At the end of the day, to have them be okay, have Ken be okay, and, and then to be recognized together afterwards was, was really special.